Chef Mad Max and his trusted machina grinder. I just finished grinding up some meat. And of course I welcome you to my show my friends and thank you, thank you, thank you for checking my stuff out and watching me and maybe get a couple cool advices from simple men from overseas who don't know shit according to some people. But anyway, thank you again, thank you for watching me and today we're doing American food. American with my twist, meatloaf. Meatloaf. I just finished grinding up. I don't buy ground meats. I grind up some very lean pork, very lean chicken, skinless and boneless, of course. Here we go, that's the shop. Try the bones will be kind of, uh, kind of, you know, sort of. Uh, and ground beef, ground pork and ground chicken. I'm not using veal because veal is too expensive. I am poor bastard, can't afford it. Sorry folks. Try to cut off your fingers. Way too much in it. And I grind up also a couple of cloves of garlic. So I don't have to chop it. I felt lazy today. Ah. Always some stuff inside of your grinder. Don't waste it. Just get it out. And that's it. Boom. Well, I will wash it my blade from my machine manually. Because if it gets lost, it almost costs this much. We we'll just lip raise this little blade as a whole machine. Okay, machine I go into the sleep right now. So I got my triple blend of meats, eggs. Oh shit! Try to avoid putting shells. Uh, shells add a little bit crunch, but not everybody appreciate it. So and calcium. So try to avoid the shells. I took a cup and a half of regular plain breadcrumbs, put the warm water on it and soak it so they turn to nice and soft. Let's go uh, wait with it till the end because they will make my hand very dirty. So I approximately got a pound of ground chicken, two pounds of ground lean pork and pounds of, a pound of beef. Let's go add some seasonings. Just plain all good time salt then I'm gonna add some coarse black pepper not crack black just regular not coarse finely grind pepper and then I got knorr delicata it's like a Polish or European soy sauce it's made from soy it's a little bit salty, but a nice flavor to your meatloaf, and then American touch, fancy clancy hot sauce. I'm not adding any oh, fancy clancy. It's out. Oh shoot! I have to go get some more. Booyah! Uh, I'm not adding any onions or peppers. Because many times people, you know, after it's cooked, people eat the meatloaf and they go, Bleh! got heartburn. And I use very lean meat again. And what else are we gonna add? We're gonna add some Spanish sweet paprika. Lots of it. And my little European touch. I'm gonna add. Good fragrance. What's going on here, man? Son of a pop! Can't open the sachet! Oh. Try to do it with my teeth. Can't do it. I will always win. Alright. My drum leaves. Very nice fragrant herb. 
very popular in Europe. Put it on your head and go like twirly, 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 twirly. Try to uh, get it in a mixing bowl, not all over the place. Twirly, 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 twirly. I'm crazy as a shit. All right, in the end of it, I'm gonna add. Our warm water soak breadcrumbs. Again, I don't like it. My meatloaf, peppers, or onions, or ketchup. Ketchup? Forget it. I mean, I know it's a very American way, but even I'm Polish American, I'm not doing it. And after all the ingredients are added, Use the best cooking tools you got, the God give you, your hands. I wear gloves because I always wear gloves because my sensitive skin and also, you know, for hygienic reason, I do like wear gloves. Don't be afraid to play with your meatloaf. Make sure all ingredients are very, very well mixed. All ingredients are incorporated. All ingredients are assimilated. All ingredients get together and married inside of the mixing bowl. All right. You know, try to develop those meats. Glues work together and. So, nah, I thought that's a piece of shell, but if it is, fuck it, let's go leave it up there. The lucky winner will crunch up some eggshell. It's gonna be extra calcium. Well, and maybe not. I'll take it out because if that's the shell and break the tooth, then I'll have more problems. Alright, forget it. I took it out. And because I am a very brave man, I'm gonna try some raw meat. Nope, not enough seasoning. I want my hand. A little bit more salt. And a little bit more pepper. And again, you have to redo it. Don't be afraid. Just do your thing. Work with your meatloaf. Work. All right. We got the American meatloaf prepared. We got lots of it because meatloaf is good for dinner or it's called it's delicious and excellent and a sandwich. You know, you can take it for lunch or just, you know, cut the piece of meatloaf and just munch it up like I do. I am fat guy, so I eat a lot. All right, that looks like it's done. Here we go, nice, lean, mean meatloaf by the Mel Chef Mad Mix, baby. And again, you take your, you know, cake pan or you know roasting pan. Some people like to form. Just, you know, like a loaf and put it in a baking sheet and roast it. I like mine to be put it inside of the kind of high cooking vessels. You know, like I use the pound cake, uh, um, pound cake uh, form to bake my meatloaf or sometimes even I want to make little individual cuties, I put in a ceramic little ones like that and they got individually roasted meatloaves. It's up to you. Sometimes I form little loaves and I do on a pan. So it's up to you. You can add whatever, you know, flavorings you like. You can add more garlic, you can add more uh, spicy stuff. You can mix some cheese in it, make the kind of uh, Italian meatloaf with the basil and maybe add some pepper and corn on the top of it, man. You know, it's lots of possibilities. But that's my basic meatloaf. And again, cooking, it's up to you. You can do 
as a loaf or you can bake as a, you know inside of the cooking vessel or whatever you can even steam it in a oriental uh, steam basket it's up to you my friend because it's America America it's free country we drink Budweiser and we make meatloaf alright let's go do this meatloaf baby okay again that's my delicious meatloaf getting ready to be cooked and I gotta bounce because I got a couple more projects to do again thank you for watching me Shit, I got my glasses dirty with the meatloaf uh, thank you for watching me appreciate you guys without you I am faceless and silent but with you I got voice so please keep checking me out and again life is too short to be shitty so be kind to each other until next time with my meatloafy dirty glovey hand booyah and shake the shit baby I love you people Mwah!